let's move on to a very positive story. This one I really liked um, in hearing. A town board has voted to ban book banning while they while at the same time slamming conservative conservative activists. Yeah. Let's hear about this one. So I think this is this is the amazing, the most amazing thing in this story. A young resident of um, Wellington showed up and announced during the board meeting that not to be rude, but you can't tell me what I can and can't read. Now, I think that is just a, for anybody who's a young person and there is always this, this sort of shifting away from people, young people who, you know, they're, they're, they're lazy. They don't care. They, they just kind of shift away from responsibility. You have somebody standing up in front of a, a town body and saying, look, you don't have the right to tell me what I can and can't read. And that's a powerful statement. The Wellington Board of Trustees said that it was going to prevent the banning of books from the town's library. It was a five to two vote, which means that there were still a couple of people who wanted to hold on tough to telling people what they could or couldn't read. But the resolution declares that the board of trustees may not censor, suppress, remove, monitor, or place restrictions on ideas or information in the public library. Now, there have been efforts, you know, by different groups to ban books, and the same books over and over and over are getting, you know, a lot of that attention. But um, the resolution proposed by trustee Rebecca Daly said, it is disgusting to accuse library staff of providing pornography to kids. It is obviously not true. So these claims that this is pornography has been, you know, going back and forth because we're going back to the 80s and the 90s when who gets to decide what is or isn't pornography? We thought we had settled this fight. And yet now the fight has been brought forward again in time. And, and there are people saying, well, if it has anything to do with LGBTQ, it's pornography. If it has anything to do with gays, it's pornographic. It's obscene. And that was already dealt with. The subject of what is or is not pornography, what is or is not obscene, has already been dealt with in this country. And we are not getting any further in this battle because people want to continually come back and they want to shove their moral standards that do not apply to anyone outside of their little circle. They want to shove those on everybody and say, everybody needs to follow our rules because we are the arbiters of what is right and wrong in this country. I've long held a suspicion that the motivation, the, the, the real strong motivation behind that ideal and behind that push is on a deep level, they're upset that they have to follow these rules and others don't. And so they want to force those rules on everybody else. I, I just long held that belief that that is where that comes from. As a reformed one of those people, I can tell you, no, but I will allow that opinion to stand and we will move on to something a little more positive.